Welcome to Forever Glide, how to measure and install video. We're talking about the Forever Glides for iron patio furniture today, which is representative with the iron furniture legs with a metal cup at the end of each leg. Very common furniture in America has been sold the same for about 75 years. So today we're doing the interesting half green. So we're popping open the pack and show you how they work. First thing we're going to do is pop out all the old glides. You usually just do it with a screwdriver, pop them out. Most of the time, this thin plastic flimsy glides have worn out, worn through, and have left this rusty uh, ring of metal to scrape your floor up. Now, we're not going to do it in this video, but it's a great idea if you go ahead and get some spray paint and touch up these cups before you put the forever glides in, then you'll be like new. So we're going to go around, pop out all the different cups. That's pretty simple. This one was missing one already. Our next step is we're going to clean out the bottom of the cups. One of the best products you use is just acetone from your lumber yard. Take a rag with acetone, go inside, get all the rust, chip paint, spider webs, and stuff that you can get out of there. Acetone dries almost immediately and it does not leave an oily surface. So we recommend acetone. You can also use Windex lacquer thinner but don't use paint thinner don't use something that's oily because we want to make sure we leave a nice dry good surface inside the next thing we need to find out is which size is going to be right for us you can take a ruler or a tape measure i'm going to show you both ways we're actually measuring inside of that cup okay and if you look real closely that measures right about inch and a half your cup can vary a little bit because different brands actually do vary this dimension of the cup. Let me show you with a tape measure. Very similar. We're going to take the tape measure. As you can see, it comes right to about inch and a half on the inside. The Forever Glides are a little bit smaller than that because they adhere to the top surface. They aren't attaching to the outside rim like the original old style glides did. So they can be approximate. My next step is to take the flex cushion foam, which is a waterproof, high density foam. It's got a liner paper on it. I pop that liner paper off of one side, attach it to the web side of the Forever Glide. Go ahead and pop the other liner off. This center cutout piece is in there as an optional piece. Sometimes there's a weld blob in the bottom of the cup that interferes. So it's nice to just take that out. You don't have to, but most times it's just a good idea. So now I've got exposed the adhesive on this side, and I'm simply going to push it down into the cup. Push with both hands. Now, as you can see, the Forever Glide flexes a little bit. This is great because what happens is it allows for uneven patio surfaces. It also allows for the legs to be bent a little bit. A lot of times this furniture will come uh, with legs a little bit uneven. So this will compensate for that. Because with Forever Glides, it'll flex and it'll last indefinitely. Thank you again for watching.